All right, so now what we're going to do is move on to the next section, which is going to be creating the blog post section. So you can see it right underneath the call to action. We're going to have this section right here. We'll have a title for our latest news, and then we're going to show some of the latest blog posts or articles that we write for our WordPress website right here. So if you want to create this section or learn how to, then what I want you to do is go back to the WordPress website that we're making and hover over the edit page button or edit page link and click on that. Once you're back on the home page that we're making right now, all we have to do is click on add row and change the row layout to one. And we don't have to do anything here this time. So just click on the insert button and you should see a row at the bottom. And we just have to add a widget. So click on add widget and find the Sydney FP latest news widget. So it should be towards the bottom. So just click on that and it should get inserted down here. And all we have to do is click on the edit link and we'll get this pop up and we're just going to type in a title. So right here for this section, I'll type in latest news and that's all we have to do. We don't have to do anything here. So just click done and let's just update our homepage now. So click the update button to save everything. And once the page is updated, all we have to do to check it out is click on view page. And once the WordPress website loads, if we scroll down to the bottom, we should see the latest news section below the call to action now. And one of the things that we didn't do was go into the design tab and change the widget title color. So if you don't like the default color for this font right here, you want to go in there and change the color code like we did for the other sections. And you'll also notice that we have a default blog post right here. This is uploaded by WordPress when we install the WordPress website. We're going to delete this later and we're going to type out some new blog posts with some featured images that we'll put over here a little bit later. So this is what you should see right now. If you don't have any blog posts, then you won't see this section appear right now. But once we go into the step to write our blog posts, this section is going to appear no matter what. All right, so if this is what you see, then we are good to go. And now what we're going to do is create the next call to action right below the blog post section. So we're going to have one more call to action right at the bottom of the home page like this. So we'll link this to the testimonials page. So if you want to create this, let's go back to the WordPress website that we're making and let's click on the edit page link right at the top. 